guys welcome back to the channel today we are starting to work back on the Corolla so for those of you that hasn't been seeing my channel lately um, I got an 05 Toyota Corolla XRS with the 2cc GE engine made by Yamaha and Toyota uh, this engine for those of you who are not familiar it's got the same system works kind of like a VTEC it's got the same lift uh, um, how can I say it? Uh, same lift performance, if I want to say, where it reaches certain RPM, it actually switches from low cam to high cam. Um, I made a turbo so far, and today our, we are gonna finish the engine bay, accommodate everything how it should be. That way we can start on the engine harness and pull that fuel tech in the car. So this is the car, engine bay right now. So, I'm gonna go ahead and reroute the um, fuel return line, which is this one right here, and I have it still loose. So I'm gonna go ahead and reroute it through this side, hopefully, get it out the way. Um, the feet still gonna have to be this way. The um, and then later on we will finish the actual dump pipe for the uh, wastegate and um put everything on i'm still waiting on the uh the new hose for the radiator so i can connect that and uh we'll go from there so i'm gonna put you a little bit in timeline and um so we can start working on this thing Well, decided to pull the whole engine harness, actually, the whole engine bay harness. From here, I gotta figure out what I need to use and not. It's all just wire goes to the fuse box. So. Well, since I'm already here, I decided to go ahead and put the injector to the injector clinic. I'm not sponsored in any, in any case. Just uh, they, they were able to help me pretty good and cure me in, the, in a timely manner as well. So, uh, shout out to them. Thanks for the product. Um, we're gonna go ahead and install them right now. They are already assembled with the extender neck injector. These are 1000 cc.
All right, so the injectors are already installed. So with their pigtails and everything, so nice fitment, didn't have no problem whatsoever. So uh, let's pigtails here already. I'm like I said, I'm getting everything ready so I can start doing the engine harness soon. Well, guys, I just this is gonna be a wrap for today on the car. I'm gonna show you everything that I did on the car and the engine bay. Uh, I'm still missing a few things, but I think I got most of it done for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you now. Okay, I went ahead and removed the um, complete engine harness all the way from the fuse box. Um, I will sort out the wires that I need to power everything else and just make the fuel tech work with the engine itself. Um, I went ahead and I put the injectors, like I said earlier. I uh, went to the junkyard uh, the other day, had a free time, and just, I was close by one and just uh, stopped and got me a few plugs for the BBT I, the plug for the BBT L as well. Well, the injectors comes with their, with their own uh, plugs. They got me the plugs for the coils. I'm still missing the one for the actual cam sensor. I will get that uh, this week, hopefully. Um, the one for the crank sensor. Um, other than that, I went ahead and uh, put the fuel uh, pressure regulator out there. And I routed the hose to the opposite side. Um, I was thinking about using the uh, strap brace, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do for now because I needed the space for the actual regulator. Um, what else? Oh, yes. I went ahead and um, put my vacuum block right here. So it's on there. Um, the plug for the fan is right here. I need to get one as well. I don't want to cut this one. And uh, just in case in the future, I want to put the car back to stock or any, for any reason or so, which I doubt it, but I gotta make the actual dump tube for the wastegate. I was, at one point I was thinking about going uh, through the hood, but here in Florida, if you guys don't know, and if you live in Florida, you know in the summertime, it rains every day. So I'm not gonna take a chance on that. So I'm just gonna route it down, maybe come through here. I went ahead and I put a ground cable right here. Made that one right there. And put it back to the frame itself. Um, I got the uh, main battery cable right here. I gotta reroute it. I gotta get a longer cable. So, reroute it. Um, so, I think I'm pretty much set to work on the harness, I believe. So, I think that's pretty much it. Um, let me know what you think as far as progress. So progress better than no progress. So um, I'll be working on the harness next. Oh, one more thing. I went ahead and um, I removed the uh, the uh, pipe that goes from here to here. I know R9K and some other people sell the, the cover for this and the cover for the bottom one, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I already ordered one of the one of these caps, which is one inch. This is three quarter, but the one I ordered is one inch to put down there um, on that pipe. For now, uh, on the new engine that I'm uh, be building, I will go ahead and uh, I'll get all that sorted correctly. Um, I want to put the uh, heat sleeve on the throttle cable. Heat sleeve all the way to the hose that goes to the brake booster. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty much set. Next thing would be, I gotta put the, um, the, um, all the pressure sensors for the fuel tech. And once I do that, then I'll be starting to make the harness. Shouldn't be too hard, hopefully, so. Stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, share, like, and I'll see you in the next one. God bless.